So energy is actually kind of a difficult thing to define. It's not something tangible that you can hold in your hand and say, here it is, this is energy. In general, we are talking about energy, we mean something that has the ability to cause a change in a system. So in this unit, we are going to really get into the details of what this actually means. But first, it helps to have an idea of how we measure energy. The SI unit for energy is the joule, abbreviated with a capital J. Another very common unit that you'll find is the calorie, especially when we are referring to the energy we get from food. It is important to note, however, that the calorie that we see in our food label is actually written with a capital C. This is because it is a kilocalorie, not a single calorie. Remember that kilo means 1,000, so that when we eat that giant cookie that has 230 calories on its label, we are actually eating 230,000 calories. This is because a calorie is a really, really small unit of measurement. One calorie is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water one degree Celsius. Well, okay, how much is one gram, you might wonder? Well, it is about 10 regular drops, so not very much. Now you have an idea of how small a calorie is. Now a joule is even smaller. One calorie is equal to 4.18 joules. So let's take our big cookie with the 230 calories. How many grams of water could be heated by one degree Celsius with this many calories? Well, we know that one capital C calorie is actually 1,000 regular calories. So our cookie really has 230,000 calories. If one calorie is the amount of energy it takes to raise the temperature of one gram of water one degree Celsius, and we have 230,000 of them, it would stand to reason that 230,000 calories will heat 230,000 grams of water. All right, so how much water is this? Well, your typical water bottle has about 260 grams of water in it. So 1,000 water bottles, or about 61 gallons of water. There are times, of course, where we might be interested in knowing how many joules that is, like right now. Our cookie has 230 kilocalories contained in it, so 230,000 little calories. And one calorie is equal to 4.18 joules. We can set this up as a conversion factor, which results in 4.18 joules being multiplied by 230,000 calories to find 961,400 joules contained in our cookie. That's a pretty big number. Since joules are so small, it is not uncommon to have such a large number. So a lot of times you will see it written in kilojoules. Just like with a capital C calories, a kilojoule contains 1,000 joules. So 961,400 joules will be 961.4 kilojoules. So think back to what you had for breakfast. Do a quick search and find out how many calories you ingested. How many grams of water could be heated by one degree Celsius with that number of calories? Then convert that calories into joules. So on your note sheet, you have a few practice problems to do for tomorrow. And here are your answers so you can check your work.